number one of two or three. Four tractors, 100 bucks. Two Dixons, a Simplicity and a Craftsman. These two should run motors at least. Transmissions out of this one. Just want them for the motors. Maybe the PTO clutch. And there's the deck for the Simplicity. Deck for the Dixon. Miscellaneous spare parts that are going to the scrapyard. That's it for now. Well, here's tonight's project. See if we can't get this Briggs and Stratton Vanguard to pop. This is one of the four tractors uh, of the haul I got, um, as you guys saw. So, just took the air filter off. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks real good. Mm. I got a battery in it. And I got to find a key. I got one on my key ring here. Uh, I'm not sure if this thing's got a neutral switch or what. I got no idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna first see if I can turn it over with the key, or if I gotta jump it at the cylinder, way, which is right, which is right there. Here it goes. Well, I can't turn it. Here we go. Nope. Nothing. Well, let me see if I can get a screwdriver here and jump it that way. All right, I got a pair of pliers here. Let's see if I can jump this solenoid one-handed. There it goes. Well, we got that much figured out. Let's see if I can put a little starting fluid there, see if it'll pop. Hold on. Uh, got the key on. See what happens. She's a runner. Fired right off. Alright, good. That's all I really need to know, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'll put some fuel to it and see. I don't know, I can't decide. Probably should make sure it runs halfway decent, I suppose. So hold on, let me see if I can get a little fuel in there. Alright, put some fuel down in there. Can't really see it, of course, but it's down there and it's kind of flooded, so we'll probably can't crank a little bit. Control. Can't 
Sounds like it's moving. Now I need to get fuel in the bowl. And it's got a solenoid on it. So if I can't get it to click, not going to take fuel anyway. Looks like we have a little mouse activity or something going on here. A lot of mouse activity. No surprise. Alright, well, we got a runner nonetheless. Seemed like it ran okay for the few seconds that it did run, so... We'll call it good. All right, this is number two. It's a Briggs and Stratton 13 horse single. I'm not gonna be able to see it. Horrible lighting back here. Uh, surprisingly enough, I came back here and turned the key, and it actually cranked. So I'm gonna do a little starting fluid. <clears throat> see what happens. Choke it. That's a runner too. Wow. Surprised that battery is cranking as much as it is. I would think it'd be dead. It's been sitting outside. What do I know? And that's it. Battery's dead. Well, I think that's a runner too. Probably should check for fuel on this one. It might be bad fuel. That's it for now. Well, I meant to get some video of the other two tractors that these two came with. But I didn't. Maybe I'll put some pictures at the end of the video of what they were, but um, they sold real fast, so I just totally forgot to get video. Anyway, I just figured I'd wrap, uh, wrap, this, wrap this one up. Um, again, this one, you heard it fire once and it hasn't fired since, so I'm not sure why. Probably just a bad carburetor or dirty carburetor. And this one is a runner. Um, runs when I dump carb or dump gas down the carburetor, but I can't get the solenoid to actuate, so that'll be how it's gonna go. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching.